Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. The reason why I didn't make a video yesterday was actually because of these party games. It, it's, you know how I always say that I never play a game that I deem is bad? Well, the party games are a lot worse than I remember them to be, so I was questioning if I should actually play these. So, I'll just say this right now in case I don't finish this for whatever reason, but there's 50 party games, and in order to unlock a secret character, Baby Robo, uh, I actually have never played all of these games because I must have gave up on them because I was either bored or just plain hated them. <laughs> um, but you have to play each of these once. Like, you see where it says plays? Like, there's one, two, one, two, four, five. Those all have to be at least one. And you'll notice, as I said, there's a lot... There's, well, I, I guess there isn't as many zeros on here as I thought there was. But I definitely didn't play all these games. And, and you'll notice that I also didn't play a lot of these games more than a few times <laughs> and that's not usually a good sign <laughs> okay so in this one alien attack you hold the controls just like this and it's it doesn't work as you may expect it to <laughs> let's just say that you it just you hold them like you're holding a plane or aircraft controls vertically and then you alternate them depending on if you want to go left or right, or if you want to just go straight, you press forward, and then you shoot with the buttons on it. But just look how this thing controls. It like, it like seems to drift or something like that, and I, and you can tell that there is a little bit something off by the way this thing controls. Like, you can tell that I can turn it consistently, but the thing is that when I do turn, it's magnificently slow like you'll notice that you almost like stop in place and that just does not work for a game like this <laughs> so when I said that I don't want to play games on my channel that are bad this these kinds of games are the perfect example and that's exactly why I'm kind of doing this video here like I'm gonna do this one more time <laughs> Just for the heck of it, even though that nothing's changed whatsoever, but I am not even going to come close to that high score. It just... you don't seem to have enough control and dexterity to be able to hit these guys and avoid getting hit. You notice that there's arrows around you as well? That indicates where those critters are, if that's not obvious. And... it must drift around... oh shoot. <laughs> See, it's just very, very awkward, and <laughs> in case you can't tell by now, the way it just looks, and there's a lot of critters following me, I'm going to try and get some space, space between me and them, and try and turn around, and... Uh, no! How did I get so high, anyway? <laughs> I don't understand. I know, I know you can't, like, jump in this thing. You've seen the controls over there, and... Mm, no, no, I, I must get away. I must try and survive as best as I possibly can, even though I practically slow down at every turn. See, how am I supposed to avoid... <laughs> Someone is probably going to be in the comments and they're going to be like, Ah, you just need to practice the game, and... I don't know. <laughs> it's not that fun to play, needless to say. Anyway, let's just go over to the next one. I'm gonna, going to be going through these alphabetically, obviously. So, next one is Asteroid Crash. This one, actually, I just played in practice. It, it actually does work well. Uh, I, I played it yesterday when I was pra well practicing, if you can call these stages, just, just to explore them a little bit. It's just basically... Shoot the asteroids that are coming at your window. It's amazing how you can shoot, you know, out this window even though the asteroids somehow hit the glass. It's like you can shoot through the glass, but I wouldn't question the game logic if I were you. So it starts out pretty easy as you can see here. Uh, those, oh, those gold ones are bananas, I forgot about that. Don't shoot them. Uh, they recover your health. Yay! Uh, and there's different colored... Uh, Asteroids coming a little bit later, of which you'll see. Wow, that one, that one came in really fast there. <laughs> and 
And they get a lot more frantic as you go. I'm going to attempt to beat the high score that I set there. Oh yeah, those pinkish ones take three, three shots to destroy. Yeah, this game works very, very, ah, very well. <laughs> If, if you're not being super slow like I was being at the moment there. <laughs> Alright, concentrate, PK Gam. This is not that complicated. The bananas... Nope! Freaking... Oh, I shot the banana instead of the asteroid. Okay, maybe... <laughs> maybe there is a slight issue there, because I, I'm pretty sure my cursor I should say, and the shot was going over the bananas, and no, oh, that was just terrible. <laughs> I did better on, on my first run on this. Maybe it's because I'm talking and I'm normally, you know, concentrating completely on the game rather than on the commentary. Should I try it one more time? Because it just seemed like you got the gist of it. I don't think I'm going to go go and do it one more time. <laughs> you get the idea. That's pretty much all there is to Asteroid Crash. It's really, really linear. But this one, it is based off of how it like the sensor bar is how close you are to the TV or whatnot you know the, the pointer you move the Wii remotes in a 3d space I've explained this before in my dead space walkthrough that this just never ever worked very well on Wii games and probably should be abolished like see that cursor that is the thing that I'm moving and then your monkey follows that cursor but the thing is the feel of it is obscure. <laughs> I guess this works out. It works better than um, Dead Space Extraction because of the fact that um, it actually is not as jittery and it's easier to control because you know you're, you're controlling on a flat space rather than a 3D space like in Dead Space Extraction. <laughs> I keep forgetting, forgetting to add that extraction part. That's a that's a big factor there in determining which game is which. And somehow I won! <laughs> I can't believe it! <laughs> Perhaps the game isn't as bad at controls as I thought it was. I don't know, but yeah, I think I should only just play these mini games only once. Otherwise, it's going to take me forever to get through all 50. So... Win or lose, I suppose. Uh, you, as I said, you only have to play these once to get progress on beating... I'm um, beating... to getting Baby Robo. So, yeah. <laughs> play only your favorites on your spare time, but otherwise you can... You can actually just play a game and then quit the game if you wanted to, and then it'll actually count as a play, so you don't have to play any of the ones that you are not into playing, so to speak. This is another game that is not very responsive. <laughs> you hold the re Wii Remote vertically, and then you tilt left and right, you know, you tilt the tip of it left and right to move left and right, and then you jerk the Wii Remote upwards to attack whatever is on top of those bananas, or jump over um, balls that are coming from the bottom. Now, the thing is, is that the balls, they come from the left and right side randomly just like that. So if you're near the left or right side and one comes from the side that you're near, you won't have enough time to react to get to those things and sometimes you can't even react to it just like there because the Wii Remote takes a while to register your upward thrust. <laughs> so I don't see this being a game that you're going to have an easy time beating the high score anytime soon. <laughs> Especially since you're one monkey versus like 850 other monkey thieves up there and yeah. <laughs> uh, I have failed but I don't care because the game is not that good. <laughs> that's, that's another thing about these party games is that even when they work well majority of them are pretty boring <laughs> and that's a pretty bad combo there you've either got ones with bad controls or you've got ones that are genuinely boring now this is another one that you uh, move the Wii remote on a flat 3d space just like the one where you were collecting bananas on the beach uh, except for this one uh, it doesn't seem to work if you go closer or further away from the TV set. I 
does it look like that I'm going closer to it? I don't know, it just looks like I'm stacking the bugs onto the same spot over and over, and it looks like that I should be able to move it in a 3D space according to the uh, little instruction manual thing. Oh, and look out for green spiky balls. They'll knock the ball, the little ladybugs right off your thing, and also be careful where your pointer is. It'll sometimes not detect where your pointer is for whatever reason. <laughs> And believe me, I, I am definitely pointing it at, t at the TV. I am a experienced TV pointer here. <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean to... Oh, I grabbed the green one. But that's okay. Obviously the highest... I mean, you have to get it as high... The stack as high as you possibly can. But of course, the uh, closer the little ladybugs get to the top the harder it is to react to those little green spiky balls because you know they're closer to the top and I guess that's the gimmick of it is that it eventually gets to the point where you can't react in time uh, sort of like extreme Tetris or something like that when it gets to like maximum speed levels uh, anyway next one dangerous route there's actually three three little games here or maybe that move move thing actually doesn't indicate a 3d space it indicates just pointing at the screen so maybe I wasn't I didn't have to move in a 3d space before anyway this is another game that could definitely be improved it, I, I would definitely play this one a lot more if if the camera wasn't so close to the screen and if I could tell exactly where my pointer is see that arrow it doesn't actually indicate where your pointer is see I just went off screen there and it turned black by accident, and that means that I lost control over the monkey. <laughs> so, the thing is, is that you have to attempt to keep pointing at the screen and not go off the boundaries of the screen where it can't detect where your pointer is, I guess you could say. And if that happens, you know, like where it doesn't detect your pointer as you're going near a sharp corner or something like that, you're gonna fly right off the edge. And See on the little map thing down at the bottom there? Those dot things indicate checkpoints of sorts. And if you don't make it to a checkpoint before the time runs out, you you literally have to go back to the start. Or the last checkpoint, of course. And that is pretty devastating in later levels. So this game is also very unforgiving. And the fact that the camera is so zoomed in on the playing field, it can also also be sometimes very difficult to react to things quickly enough so that you don't fly off the edge or get bumped off the edge. You'll see what I mean on the later levels. Uh, level 1 here isn't that bad at that, but the, but the thing is, is that on the later ones, you know, there's more obstacles and, well, you'll see. <laughs> uh, I probably should do all three of them because they are separate courses after all, so I would still consider this to be one play. First one, as I said, not that bad at all to get through. A second one is where things get a little bit poopy. <laughs> I'm I'm tired of Aunt putting in my name. I'll just I'll just put J. <laughs> I, I'm I'm I've given up on that. So just call me J from now on. <laughs> uh, whoops! Didn't mean to change the game. I want to. Yes, yes. I don't know why you have to confirm where you're pointing on the screen for each game. I thought that's what the sensor bar on top of the TV is supposed to do. Because, <laughs> you know, it's got those infrared lights on the left and right side, and it, that that's how it determines position based on how, you know, the spacing it sees on the Wii Remote. Anyway, now you, now you see that there's more 90 degree corners as well as it being a lot thinner. And if I lose control of our monkey friend here by the pointer going off the screen with the much tighter time limit, I will pretty much be doomed. And which way do I want to go here? Wait, this is moving. Oh, it is going. It's going in this direction. Okay. I just wasn't sure which way that gear was moving. Oh, no, 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 no. I just lost uh, my pointer there for a second, as you'll notice by the blackness. And looks like I'm near a checkpoint. Yay! Okay, I guess I am doing decently well. Oh, I almost got knocked off. Oh, there's, that's luckily a shortcut over there. If I wanted to take that route or if I could react to it. Um, platform, I believe there is. Yes, there is a moving platform. See, it, it works well just as long as you keep your pointer on the screen. 
And considering that you can't tell exactly where your pointer is, that's kind of the issue. <laughs> it's like playing a touchscreen game on the DS, only you're actually pointing at the screen from a distance rather than actually touching at it. <laughs> so you can't really like tell where the tip of your stylus is in relation to the screen. It's about a, f it's a feel thing essentially. And here's a place where the camera zooms out in a decent place. I just don't know why in other places it's a lot tighter. Uh, it's it's a like a good and bad game in, in those senses. <laughs> Let's just say that. And I'm going to be crossing over to another whatever wavy pattern dealio thing here, I guess. And anything now, please. I could go a little bit faster, but at the same time, do I want to go faster? You know, I could fly off the edge, as I said before. So maybe I should be going at a safer pace. Oh, no, 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 no! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is what I mean about the game being super unforgiving. Now, d does it look like that I'm going to have enough time to make it to the next checkpoint because I have to wait for these things? That just ain't going to happen, yo. <laughs> so I'm going to have to restart this game from the very beginning because of that. And needless to say, it takes a while to get through these courses, as you can see by the timer at the upper right corner there. And restarting minutes worth of time each time you want to play these suckers not very encouraging. <laughs> they need more checkpoints. <laughs> this isn't like some super expert game here. At least it doesn't have to be in the sense that, you know, that you shouldn't have to memorize the whole course, you know, so that you don't fly off the thing. And I just noticed that I'm 17 minutes into this part. <laughs> so yeah, once I finish all three of these courses, if I manage to, I will end off the part. Anyway, I'm gonna cut off to where I was before on the little mappy thing down below. Second checkpoint! Alright, let's give this another shot and hope for the best. I'm not really sure if I have more time than I did last time. I wasn't really paying attention to the clock on my first run. The clock, I never really pay much attention to because it puts too much pressure on me, dang it. <laughs> So I try to avoid that whatsoever and just simply concentrate on getting through whatever race track that I'm on in racing games of sorts. So yeah, this time I'm going to be extra careful about this. And yeah, I, it really does waste a lot of time on these uh, conveyor belt sort of rings. Well, they're not conveyor belts, but you know, you have to go with the flow and you can't go any faster than these green blocks that are in your way. So it's a matter of patience and you don't you don't have another shot at getting yourself through this as you can see here oh my god they actually open up that quickly I have no faith in getting myself across this <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear I forgot all about this <gasps> am I going to actually make it to the end if I fall off I'm pretty much doomed because the checkpoint is way back in front of that yellow section there Please tell me I am near the end. I beg of you. Yes! <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be... If you fall off on those... As I said, conveyor belt sections, whatever you want to call them. The things that push you off the thing. If you fall off there or practically anywhere else, it is a pretty much a game over because it's so unforgiving. That... That clock may as well just not be there. It may as well just be you fall off once and you should just restart the, the race. <laughs> and again, I have to reset the Wii Remote's position. Why? I don't get it. Or is that maybe just to, to set, set you up so that you're pointing at the screen? I don't really get it. Anyway, number three, let's get this started. <sighs> Go! And it automatically starts out thin with not very much time. Oh, crappers. Well, I didn't waste too much time there, I guess. It was only a couple seconds, so I think I should be fine. Maybe. I'm not going to restart for just that little bit. I'll see how things go. Must be more cautious. <laughs> I, that's another thing is that I can't tell which direction these green things are going until I actually get next to the ring. 
which in turn means that I have to wait for them to come around, and that means that I waste more time. Unless, of course, you have the track memorized, as I, as I said before, but memorization as a gameplay trait is not one of my favorite elements because it just adds frustration to the factor of things like you can get right to the end and then the thing that you can't react to just pretty much destroys you and that's pretty much it and where am I supposed to go from here it's like a flat plain maze I have uh, I guess I'm going here ah oh, there's a checkpoint <laughs> Um, it, I have some exceptions to that, like I want to be the guy, because there's a lot of save points in that game, and the fact that the game has a load of humor, in the fact that, you know, it's like, hey, I just killed you and you're surprised, and they kill you in such humorous ways and stuff like that, and that's, that's what drives me to play a game like that, plus the fact, you know, it's, it's I want to be the guy, it's an icon of the cheap yet hilarious game world there. <laughs> And I believe I've told you this before, but I have beat I Wanna Be The Guy before with a lot of practice. Holy poopers! That is not supposed to be like that. <laughs> um, do I... Uh-oh, am I gonna fall off because I didn't get on that... Oh, okay. I was a little worried there because I didn't get on a platform. Oh, they're all moving at different speeds? Okay. I guess I can work with that, I suppose. Do I go here? I don't know. Which way is this spinning? I can't tell. Um... I'm gonna go this way. Oh, it's not spinning at all. It's just that these yellow things are po ah! popping out of it, and I obviously can't get bumped off the edge by them. And where are they coming out of? I can't tell. I I'm afraid to move. Because <laughs> it's like, am I going to be bumped off the edge by them randomly? Because they kind of like vanish inside that green nether region over there, and that could be kind of gross depending on how you interpret that. And just gonna be another checkpoint. I really hope so. Yeah. Uh, wait, I only have 24 seconds to get to the end? What? What? No, I don't have time to wait for this. I don't have time to... Oh, no. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have enough time to finish this course unless I get a little bit more efficient in my run. Go, 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 go. Run, 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 run. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to have enough time to wait for those. So, I'll see you when I get back here in just a second after I restart this one, as just like the second one. <sighs> Alright, we're here at the moving platform segment of death once again. I really don't have that much time to do this, even though that bananas give you five seconds per banana. But, uh... Oh, but I really have to get through these platforms, because otherwise you have to wait so much, and yeah, <laughs> must, oh, no, 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 don't fall, don't fall, monkeys, well, just one monkey, and why do I have to wait so much in this section, this is inhuman, well, I guess this is monkeys we're talking about, and not humans, so maybe that's why they're doing it to me, oh, oh no, you've got to be kidding me. This is way too thin. <laughs> oh, I'm so scared the pointer is gonna go bloop and then I would have been screwed. Oh, I have to go around this way. Oh my god, seriously? I could have got pinched and knocked right off the thing and... Is, is this even possible on some runs? Because of the way that the layout is? Or do those yellow ones just not knock you off completely? I'm all, what am I supposed to do here? Am I actually supposed to go in between the... Oh, okay. Oh, I think I'm near the end. I have a good feeling that I am near the end. I have to rush through the spiky jaws of doom. No, please. I beg of you. Let me get... Yes! Zero seconds remaining. And that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. <sighs> This was Jay, signing out. <laughs>